All right, so we're diving into this case, and it's, uh, well, it's heartbreaking, to say the least. The disappearance and death of Caitlin Markham. Yeah, a tough one. And from these Dateline excerpts, seems like a real puzzle, even after all these years. Absolutely. What was it that really, I don't know, what stuck with you as we were looking at all this? You know, it's got to be the setting for me. Fairfield, Ohio. Back in 2011, think about it. Small town, right. Exactly. A place where this kind of thing just doesn't happen, you know? Caitlin just vanishes from her own home one night, sent shockwaves through the whole community, and you can just feel feel it, even in these articles, you know? Oh, totally. You can really sense that loss of normalcy, especially for her family. Imagine being Allie, her younger sister, just starting high school. Can't even fathom. And then this. Life changes in an instant. And the way it seems, Allie's not alone, right? Caitlin's father, Dave, he becomes, like, central to everything that follows. That dedication, never giving up hope, it's powerful stuff. It's one thing to say, never give up. But to actually live it out year after year, while investigators are hitting dead ends. And let's be real, at the beginning, it was a total mystery. No force entry at her place, no signs of a struggle, nothing. Her fiance back then, John Carter, making those public pleas. The kind of disappearance that just leaves you wondering, where do you even start? It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but worse. Way worse. And then, just when you think it can't get more unsettling, we learn about a second young woman found dead nearby. Chilling is an understatement. And here's what really gets me, the similarities in these cases. They don't go into detail in the article, but it's clear investigators saw a link. This wasn't just tragic anymore. It pointed towards something a lot more deliberate. And the fact that Fairfield's not exactly a sprawling metropolis. Exactly. The idea that whoever did this could be living among them. Even Dateline's correspondent Andrea Canning and the assistant prosecutor Brad Burris were stunned by this. As they should be. Imagine, from an investigator's standpoint, Suddenly you're dealing with double the everything. Theories, timelines, maybe even years between the cases. Evidence could be long gone. Witnesses can't remember clearly. Talk about a nightmare. But here's the thing. Even with all those hurdles, the article mentions a big break in the case. What could that even look like after all this time? Honestly, it could be the tiniest detail. A new witness. Maybe someone watching this very episode and something clicks. Or advancements in DNA, finally giving answers from old evidence. Sometimes it's literally just a fresh set of eyes on the case files, noticing a connection nobody else did. It's incredible to think such a massive shift from something so small. That's cold cases for you. Which makes me think the article calls the cases end controversial. Mm. Why do you think that is? What would cause debate in a situation like this? Well, let's be real. With cold cases, you're often relying on circumstantial stuff. Fingerprints, maybe a hair or people's memories, which, let's be honest, aren't that reliable after years and years. Especially with something this dramatic. Right. So maybe the perpetrator, totally unexpected. Someone cleared early on, or never even on the radar. Or maybe it's the sentencing itself that rubs people the wrong way. Too lenient, considering what happened. We're in speculation territory here, but controversy usually means there are unanswered questions, you know. A lack of closure. Wow. Lots to think about, for sure. This whole thing is equal parts fascinating and incredibly sad. It really highlights how important persistence is, mm. especially for folks seeking justice in cases like this years down the line. Every single detail matters. So to everyone listening, before you watch the Dateline episode, think about this. What, what if you hold a piece of this puzzle without even knowing it? It happens. Pay attention. Any name, any place that seems familiar, however small, it might be nothing or it might be the key to unlocking the truth. Never hurts to double check. Exactly.